migrating classic quizzes question banks to item banks in new quizzes in Canvas. To do this, we'll first need to create a blank qu classic quiz in Canvas. We'll do that just by going to the quizzes link on the course menu and selecting add quiz from the upper right hand corner here. And we'll make this a classic quiz and submit that. We'll just call this uh, quiz for transfer or something other that makes sense to you. We don't need any instructions. We probably want to make this a practice quiz so it doesn't add a uh, column to the gradebook in this course. Other than that, there's nothing else we need to do here. And then we'll just save this course, or this quiz. Now we're going to edit the quiz and go to the Questions tab. And we're going to Find Questions, which will allow us to access our uh, classic uh, question banks. Here I have one, a chemistry question bank. Uh, with 30 questions in it. Seems like a fair trial. We'll select that bank and then we'll select all the questions from that bank and drop to the bottom and add those questions to our uh, dummy quiz here that we're going to be using to transfer these uh, questions to an item bank. Once we've done that and saved the quiz again We'll go to the settings page and export this quiz as a qti.zip file. Do that by going to export course content, select quiz, and deselect all quizzes and select the quiz for transfer uh, to export and then click create export depending on the size of the uh, question bank. This may take varying amounts of time. And now I have a new export, which is the most recently exported uh, quiz. So I just click on that link to download the quiz export to a convenient location on my hard drive. I've got a place for that. And we'll save that. And yeah, I've got an older uh, quiz exported from the same course, so I'll just replace that. And I now have this file on my hard drive, this qti.zip file. To get this into an item bank in this same course or another course, I'll go to, again, to my quizzes tool and I'll just find a new quiz, it doesn't matter which one, and open it up. And, uh, in the, and then go to the build page on the new quiz. I'm not going to make any changes to this quiz. I'm just doing this to get to the point where I can access my item banks, which I can access from the uh, context menu, again unlabeled uh, button up here in the upper right, just to the right of the return button. And from here, I can manage my item banks. The next thing I'll need to do is add a new bank. I can call it anything I want because the name is going to be overwritten here in a moment. I'm just going to call this bank for import and create that bank. It's now a blank question bank. I'll open that up by clicking on its name and I'll go again to this unlabeled uh, menu button in the upper right and select import content. This will work with QTI 1.2 and 2.x zip files, which should cover most LMSs actually. So I'll browse for the file that I want. This is the one I just uploaded. I'll select that file and click open and then click import. This process may take varying amounts of time. 
It does seem to hang on the green bar at the end of the process for a few uh, seconds to minutes. We'll just wait that out. <clears throat> And success, it says. We'll see. We'll click done. And indeed, we now have a successfully uh, created item bank that we can use with our new quizzes.